Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Well, heart failure is either an acute condition or a chronic condition. In both instances, it's because the heart cannot fill adequately or cannot pump adequately. For the most part, it's a chronic condition that requires ongoing monitoring and care. We have an advanced heart failure program that uh, involves many team members that uh, follow these patients closely and frequently, and we use technology these days to monitor these folks to pick up early changes in their clinical status and then to intervene appropriately. We've now been, um, have the ability to measure people remotely with advanced technology. One of these technologies is to implant a pressure device inside the lung which can uh, measure the pressures on an ongoing basis. This device can then transmit to a remote hub which we can then access through the internet. We can pick up changes, subtle changes that occur early which allows us to intervene early. MEMS stands for microelectrical mechanical device and basically it's a fancy way of saying that it's a very neat combination of really a couple of um, components that allow us to remotely monitor the pressures in these patients' um, pulmonary arteries, the main arteries that take blood to the lungs. The main component at the heart of the system is the little device. The way we introduce that is through a small intravenous uh, line, usually in the main vein that goes, comes up from the leg and we put it basically in one of the main arteries that leaves the heart and goes to the lungs. Um, the device is um, very simple, has a couple of components, does not include a, a battery, but has instead um, a partner in this pillow that includes an antenna that sends a pulse to energize the device, um, take a pressure reading from the patient's pulmonary artery, and send it through a landline or a mobile phone connection to a central monitoring website so we can get a reading of the patient's pressures on a daily basis. It's simple to take readings. All they have to do is lie down on the pillow and press the remote button and it takes 18 seconds to get a reading. That gets transmitted to a website and then our staff in the heart failure program monitors the readings on a regular basis and alerts are put into place. If the pressures exceed a certain threshold, then they receive a telephone call and we would make adjustments in their medication. It's important to realize that when we see people with symptoms, they've had changes in their pressures very early on that we could have picked up and then treated effectively. So it's a method of detecting early changes which is, you know, allow us to do early interventions. We're blessed to have this technology and it's, uh, we're very pleased with its our early experience for this. Mm -hmm.